Last night, the House of Representatives voted to impeach the head of the Department of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, for literally allowing the invasion of the United States of millions and millions of foreign invaders. And don't get your hopes up too high, though, because there's going to be a trial in the Senate and he will not be removed from office. He's going to keep his job. But this is a good symbolic victory. And when the trial starts up here in a few weeks, there's going to be a lot of nice presentations put forth by the Republicans that are going to go viral and help wake up the American people into hopefully doing something to stop the Democrats at the election. And if we're fortunate enough to take back the White House, he should be indicted for, well, among numerous things, perjury for giving testimony like this. It is my testimony that the border is secure and we are working every day, day and night, to increase its security. The border is secure. I mean, who are you going to believe, a government official or your lying eyes? And at this point, calling them migrants is absurd and an insult. Calling them undocumented immigrants, completely absurd. Calling them illegal aliens, even, is way too soft of a term. These are foreign invaders. This is an invasion. We have been invaded by at least 30 million of them, probably 35 or 40 million of them at this point, which means, if you do the math, that about 10% of the people living in the United States are part of a foreign invasion army, are undocumented immigrants, as the Democrats would call them. They don't belong here. One out of 10. The border is secure, he insists, while not only are millions of foreign invaders pouring through, but hundreds of them are on the terrorist watch list. And last year alone, 163 of them were identified. So those are just the ones that Border Patrol actually encountered and were able to identify. So it's probably, I mean, conservatively, three, four five times that who have snuck in, who are now who knows where doing who knows what. And here's Ben Shapiro just last night, once again, functioning as a conservative ink gatekeeper to prevent conservatives and white people from thinking about certain things, which, well, are becoming obvious to everyone. But what are you going to believe, reality or what Ben Shapiro tells you is reality? Ben, you've, you've taken a lot of flack online for commenting a couple times over the years that you don't give a damn about the browning of America. What do you mean by that? I, I don't care about the race, I care about the ideology. I don't think that they care about the race, by the way. I think they care about the ideology. If they could import 200 million liberals from Sweden, I think that they would do it. There he goes again with his complete and utter nonsense. I was gonna call it complete and utter BS, but I try to keep this a family-friendly show. It's obviously about three different things. It is about importing the Democrat future voting base, but it's also equally, if not more so, about reducing the white majority in the United States in order to make white people a minority, in order to create the cultural diversity utopia that so many leftists have dreamed of. And it's also about implementing the cloward Piven strategy to lead us to a communist government by bogging down the welfare system so bad, by getting so many people on the government dole, that it redistributes the wealth from those of us who are hardworking Americans to those who refuse to work and don't want to work and are just being allowed here by the tens of millions in order to, well, take our money. You see Ben Shapiro, Christopher Rufo, and other leaders in the anti-woke movement desperately don't want white people to start engaging in identity politics like every other ethnic group does because they don't want white people to start seeing themselves as a distinct ethnic group and start voting and supporting candidates and policies that have the best interests in mind for white people. While Ben's precious Israel must maintain its ethnic homogeny, its lack of diversity, cultural diversity is a must in the United States and Europe. In other words, the way that the left likes to slander the right when they talk about things like the Great Replacement Theory is by suggesting that the reason that the right is opposed to mass migration from these countries is because they want fewer brown people. The point that I was making is we don't want mass migration from countries that don't share our values. Here's Dennis Prager echoing Ben Shapiro's sentiments. He's the founder of the Prager U, the fake university, which is basically just a <laughs> YouTube channel. What do you say to those people who are who, who do who do uh, worry about, let's say, the decline of white people in America? Do you think that is that a concern of yours? 
Well, my only concern is the decline of the values that many whites have, in fact, supported. There's a lot more going on here than these conservative ink clowns will ever tell you. It is all detailed in my new book, however, The War on Conservatives, which you should order in paperback from Amazon.com or click the link in the description below. Some of it has to do with the Mexican Reconquista movement, this plan that uh, many Mexicans and Latinos have to reconquer, that's what Reconquista means, the American Southwest so that they can institute their magical, mythical land, Aslan. I'm actually shocked that the Wikipedia page for Reconquista doesn't call it an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. I haven't read through this whole article, but let's just take a quick glance at it. The Reconquista Reconquest is a term to describe an irredentist vision by different individuals, groups, and or nations that the Southwest United States should be politically or culturally returned to Mexico. It even names some of the organizations and has a nice little map here showing what they'd like to do to our country, the Nationalist Front of Mexico. Uh, just a fringe group. Don't worry about them. They're not having any effect whatsoever. I'm sure that they're largely involved in sending these 30 million people here to reconquer the United States. The fringe group, Nationalist Front of Mexico, opposes what it sees as Anglo-American cultural influences, white influences, European influences, and rejects the Treaty of Guadalupe Hilgado, as well as what its members consider the American occupation of territory formerly belonging to Mexico, that now forms the Southwest United States. Ben Shapiro is the kind of guy who sides with the Democrats, denouncing Republicans, conservatives, and white people for talking about the eight gray replacement a which you're not supposed to even mention out loud on any of the big tech platforms you can get yourself into big trouble except for twitter x jack Posobiec tweeted out this very interesting uh, rendition of the uh, situation which was widely denounced and a michigan state representative retweeted this and was then promptly removed from all of his committee assignments. And I believe had his staff also removed from him as well. They'll probably try to impeach him and kick him out of the state legislature as well for literally just retweeting this, <laughs> this graphic, this um, situation that we're in. This is one of those policies that the Democrats are openly engaging in and celebrating, but as soon as a Republican or a conservative or a white person starts pointing it out and has a certain tone in their voice where it signals that they oppose it, and if you verbally oppose it or post about it that you oppose it on social media, then you're in huge trouble. But, of course, the Democrats just openly brag about what it is that they're doing. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. There's so much more going on here than I can reveal in these short YouTube videos. I'm already getting myself pretty close to being canceled as it is. So get my new book, The War on Conservatives, in paperback from Amazon to get the full, unvarnished, uncensored truth, fully documented and sourced with over 900 footnotes. That's really where you're going to get the full four-course meal about what it is that's really going on. So order it in paperback from Amazon.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.